Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how I clean my entire bathroom in 10 minutes or less. Oh yes, this includes the tub and the shower and the floors as well. If you're brand new here, I have four children and three bathrooms in this house. I'm going to be sharing with you the best tips, tricks, anything that I talk about will be linked in the description box below. And of course, I saved the best for last. I'm going to show you something, you guys, I have not cleaned the inside of that toilet for over two months. No joke. And normally it would be black almost every single day. Not black, but disgusting brown and yellow because my kids forget to flush the toilet. Let's dive in. Let's just take a quick overview here. We got toothpaste in the sink. We probably got some really disgusting handles, switches, splatters on the mirror. Moving down to the floors. They're gross and disgusting. That mat, by the way, that's that's got to get cleaned up. We got some towels. We got a really dirty tub here. It's probably been over a month since I've actually cleaned that thing, and that's the truth. And we got the toilet right here. I want you all to set your timer, and I want you to time me. Got water in here. Just a spray bottle. By the way, everything I have is under my sink or in a cleaning caddy right here. This is an e-cloth, love it. So all you need to clean your mirror is this e-cloth and some water and it will get everything up. Even if you have a film on it, this works amazing. I made an entire video of how I wash microfiber towels with fabric softener by accident, which is a big no-no and this got everything cleaned up. Looking like brand spanking new. I don't know how toothpaste uh, Mark it's up there, but there it is next dirty towel. We're gonna throw that up there throw it in the laundry here in a second back in here I have a whole stack of brand new fresh towels So we're gonna go ahead and hang this something about the mirror and a fresh towel just makes me feel like everything is Coming along very nicely and by the way, we got toothpaste up on the wall up here next thing move all the stuff Out of the way just gonna put it up here in the shelf like so get it out of the way put that up there too. this right here is a combination of vinegar, rubbing alcohol, cast steel soap, so it's all natural, no, all natural, all natural in the spray bottle right here. I'll link this video in the description box below. I use this everywhere. The alcohol helps sanitize everything. And by the way, I just forgot to spray it in the sink. These gloves that I'm wearing right here, you can wear them two ways. Silicone is all the craze these days. It smells like fresh peppermint in here right now. So I'm gonna get the top of everything right here. Oh, it smells delicious, you haul. It smells wonderful. I saved this for last, the inside of the thing, the sink. So I'm just going around the bathroom right here. By the way, you guys, I'll do this when my kids are in the shower, uh, if they're quick like eating a snack or something. I already have enough solution on here, so now I'm gonna go around the walls. If I have something really stuck on, I'm just gonna grab a magic eraser and I'll get that. See, look at all this. Like, how in the heck does toothpaste get in the back of the door around here? Clean the knobs. There's rubbing alcohol on this. This is gonna help sanitize everything really nice. Get the light switches, like so. Moving down to the handles here in the cupboard. See, like I tell you guys, we are doing like a deep cleaning here in under 10 minutes. Wrapping it around here, I'll get as much as I possibly can, yes? Now we're gonna go into the inside of the sink that I just sprayed. Wipe that up. We're gonna put everything back and then we're gonna move on to the toilet. I flip my rag inside out. By the way, this makes for an excellent Father's Day gift. Same spray right here. Now because of my little trick, I do not need to clean the inside of my toilet. You wanna get in and around every little nook and cranny in this toilet as best as you possibly can. Uh, front of the toilet, sides of the toilet, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna flip my rag around, I'm gonna get the inside. Give it a good little spray. Again, it smells amazing. It's nice when you can use one cleaner for your entire bathroom. I'm not gonna lift that seat up just yet. I'm gonna get around the rim, around the front of the toilet. This collects a lot of disgustingness as well. Now I'm gonna get this lifted up and I'll flip my rag one more time. You can see the inside of this toilet is still looking so wonderful here, you guys. Yes. Okay, throw this in my uh, basket for dirtiness. I usually rinse off any of my microfiber towels before I throw them in the to be washed pile. Here's where I also wash my gloves because we're gonna move on to the next step. Moving on to the tub in the shower. This is my least favorite to clean. Again, using the same cleaner. I'm gonna get all up in here in the shower. I will often use the Miracle Shower Cleaner, but today we're going all in with this, okay? You notice I put my other glove on right here, so I'm gonna use this to clean around the sides of the tub in here with the silicone. And then we're gonna go in with my special, special tool here in the shower. This guy 
right here in and around everything up in the walls you can extend it uh, shorten it whatever you need to get down around in here gonna get your entire shower in your tub this is the most time-consuming part of this process right here we're gonna get down in the tub I'm gonna show you another little trick right here if you have some really hard water stain up in there you're gonna grab yourself some steel wool this is quad zero you're gonna rub it around and you will get these watermarks out like none other I've made entire videos on this you can see right there don't rub it on the color right here because it will take off the paint Professional glass cleaner use, use this particular type of steel wool and it works absolutely amazing. And it comes in a pack, like a huge pack of these right here. And you can reuse these, they will start to rust, especially when they come in contact uh, with moisture, but they are absolutely wonderful. If you want to, I like to take an old towel and just wipe everything up. Now we're gonna move on to the floor, it's my favorite part. I'm gonna go ahead and power this up and this will take me literally like two minutes. <laughs> Okay, that took less than two minutes, by the way. And the floor here is just a little bit damp. This is gonna dry maybe like five minutes. And by the way, these are house shoes in case you're wondering, I only wear them in the house. Let's take a peek at our mop pad right here. This is tinted brown from just this tiny bathroom right here. And I try to do this every single week with the floors and that's satisfying but gross all at once. The other things that I may do depending on time is wipe down the footstool or the step stool right here, rinse this out. I'll use my multi-purpose spray to also clean the inside of the toothbrush. And then under here, I just have reusable bags that I use I have a bunch underneath the bottom and then I'll just take it out put a new bag in when you do a pickup order like at Walmart or Target they automatically bag things so you can't use your own bags when you're doing a grocery order like that so that's why I have a bunch of these on hand that I try to reuse in some shape or form when you have fun cleaning tools it not only makes your job easier and more efficient but it also makes the job just a little bit more enjoyable I actually do not mind cleaning the bathrooms and I'll select a time myself it's like I'm competing against the clock when I'm trying to clean up all these bathrooms let's take a peek right here my toilet tank is looking pretty awesome. I try to do this every four months or so. I also I often will use citric acid. I have an entire video on that as well. You guys, this is my secret right here. It's this flush and sparkle. No joke, you all. I have not had to clean the inside of this toilet because of this contraption right here that I installed and it was so, so easy. And it smells absolutely wonderful in here, like ocean breeze with a hint of peppermint. It's so good. All right, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can reach more people. Sign up for the weekly newsletter in the description box below. Check out the blog, andrewjeancleaning.com. Share this out to Facebook and Pinterest and I will see you, my friend in the next one.